But one day they are not moving. But I say that God that we believe. The Bible says he says, let there be light and light was. He said, let there be that and it was. And I said, can that God provide to me without me doing nothing? So one day I chose and I said, I'm not chasing on anything. I stood and I said I'm going to wait on God if I get lost I would know that God I waited for you and you didn't come in so the year I met with my wife I was in the house before I got that job I was demanded rent for six months Yes, six months yes. behind on your rent. I was in a house worth six hundred thousand rent. I chose yeah. I was not going to chase on anything. Landlord The landlord called me every sort of word. <laughs> I was so yeah. full because I used to fear yeah. God. But I knew. I understood yes. him because I hadn't paid his money. But you, you knew right. it was your mistake. Right. Right. Okay. But I went, on, I went on my knees and I said, Lord, I look to you. After a month, that American company called me. And they told me, do you want a job as a senior software engineer? Senior consultant. They what? said senior consultant. I told them, let's try. To cut, wow. the, to cut the story, I got the job. I was working in Uganda. But the company I was working for was in Boston in the US. After one month, I went to Boston to meet my employers. And I came back here. But the great thing I can talk about, after I had gotten that job, my situation was worse. But I said, the job that God has given to me it was, it was a good job more than my situation and I purposed and I said my old life I won't bring it in the new earth so I said no one will see me and they think that I have hey. ever been in a bad situation. Repeat that. Mm. I purpose when I was getting that job. No one will know that I hey. never had food. So I changed my dress code. I changed my life but in all sense of life I was like I was well off wow, wow. now in that place that's where I found a lady who worked with my wife I told her you seem to be knowing Rukshana can you introduce her to me uh-huh. Long story, I will But she Rukshana made it happen. Rukshana came to my workplace. After two right. Right. Now when she came, she was surprised. Because they uh -huh. told her the money you're meeting. Software engineer. He's a software uh -huh. engineer. Now she knows engineers. They always put on jeans and t-shirts. 
overalls. So what mesmerized her? The engineer had tucked in so boldly and with clean shoes. Very smart. Very smart. Corporate. Yes. And that's what she understood. <laughs> Did you get that idea? <laughs> so, uh-huh. when yes. she comes and we talk, she had brought for me a flask. She had brought for me a gift, a flask of tea. It was a rare species of flask. So I said, let me escort you. As we moved, I asked her, "Did you come driving?" She said she had left the car, she had gotten a border. I told her, allow me reach you where you're going. When I changed my life, the other thing I did, I bought a Benz, a Mercedes. May God change your life today. Uh-huh. So, and my Mercedes it was too clean because I learned that every man you meet they don't know you everybody that we meet yes. they don't know you the way you cover up yourself that is how you introduce yourself you may think that someone knows you, but they don't know you. Each one of you don't know me. Uh-huh. But if I'm smart, you are really too smart in your suit. Give a hand clap to wow. him. Wow. 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 So yeah. that's where she meets with me. I gave her a lift in my Benz. All mirrors were up, only S was in. Tamani. Yes. She didn't know wow. that this man was strategically changing his life. So wow. now I give her a lift and we begin conversing. But I realized in her speech there was a connection that seemed like I knew her from before. Yes. It was different. Yes. Because finding someone you didn't know of but you talk yes. as though you've known yourself yes. for long. And I told her, I asked her to share with me her number. We may find other time and we sit and we talk. Wow. I think it's a long story. You know, Let me pause there. This is something very amazing about your story. And, and now when you keep talking, it comes out. So she's a corporate person who's used to sitting meetings with people dressed in suits, in ties. You are a software engineer and everybody, when we say engineers, automatically people think t-shirts, jeans. Uh, overalls and things like that. We talk about engineer one or to take your own t-shirt. I am a little overall. I am a little bit of a Let's really pay attention to how God works. How does God get a man's mind and humbles him and tells him, Look, I want to change your life and sets him up? Katunda, ingiri ya kuata, o lambo musa jono namugambalaba, injaga lo kuchuso bulamubo. To meet somebody who will not be challenged by anything that they are. So if she had questions about your appearance, you had already won her. Katunda, ya mute kateka na musinka nyomutu. Ngatagenda kuvera na bibuzo. Kuchikacha mtu chigo ya lia sinka na. Ya mute kateka na dala mungeringa. Bwana amulaba ya kuzulanga yonu. Gwaba danu unya. Muchiteke ile chobulu unji. Do you get what I'm saying? Ori katuna ya mute kakama suti na matai. Tama nyinti banube basi vamu. God wore him with suits and ties. And he didn't know that these are the people that she relates with. Anyway. The rest is history. A relationship started. Yes, I can bring a conversation later. Uh-huh. <laughs> she will have mercy on me because she knows <laughs> I talk about it. Yeah. Amen. As we first met, 
We connected too deeply. The greatest thing that connected us when I met her, can I talk about it? You learn that you have to inquire from your wife what to talk about her. I know many you get what I'm saying. Don't just go telling everybody how the source wasn't sweet. Do you believe that? So, the time we met, she was going through a certain life. When you see on TV, everything uh -huh. seemed to be okay. But in her life, yes. she was disturbed. When I got into her life, when I met her first time, she came at home to visit me. But I was pushing her to go back. I found her car. Her car needed a mechanical operation. paint job, mechanical. Okay. Right, right, right. Now that blew me. Because I thought the person I was expecting to meet, she wouldn't be in such a car. So what I did, I told her. Can you assist me with your car for a week? I got a man who used to pick her from work, take her home, and pick her home. Started Christmas bit already. Yes. But what amazes that responsibility it wasn't to propose to her. Right. Because I liked the person I was seeing. And I knew she, had, she needed something to help her. Yes. So I took her car and painted it. After a week, I brought back the car. Wow, wow. Now one day, we met at Serena. And I realized that my wife the time she was in she needed to be married but for me it was a year past I was eating bread so I had wow, not arrived wow. I was still breathing I told her do you know what don't settle for me don't settle for me so, okay. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. do who told you? Let her speak. Um, now to add, I want to go a little bit behind. When my friend told me that she was with someone who wanted to meet with me. What I first did is to laugh. I laughed That period I had a lot of pride. I was too proud. I told that lady. That lady was our metro. 
I don't have to. I'm too busy working in the bank. And on TV. I'm too busy working in the bank. And on TV. Yes. I told him I'm too busy when I get time I'm going to see him. My policy was I don't go to meet fans. I told him he was the number one fan. Exactly. So you would not exactly. even give him time. <laughs> Exactly. So, so the lady approached me in October. After we talked, a thought Mukubi came to me. Called that lady and asked her, when is his birthday? Nambulida. And he told me, Nengulechidavo. I bought a gift. I got a, I a custom made gift. I did, a, office. I did a customized gift and they Nga kept it in office. Nga I was not expecting to go meet him. That was in October. Uh -huh. Nga 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 January, I went to meet with him in January 2019. Yes. Yes. I had not prepared right. to go meet him, but I said, why don't I go and Kati meet him? It was lunchtime. But I didn't know the voice of the spirit. Uh -huh. Things, Things first unveiled and I knew that it was the spirit that, that is what we meant to give him no a gift. Yes. May I just bought a gift? So I kept it. Come November, come January. I wasn't busy. I had not yeah. planned to go meet with him. You're meeting a fan. I'm 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 meeting a fan. So when he walked to me, mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. my heart skipped. The person wow. I saw wasn't the image of the person ne, I was expecting. very interesting. What mm. the work I was what doing. Mm. Was I was doing internet. What the work I was doing. Before you meet anyone. You first Google him and check yeah. out of him yeah. on internet. I didn't Google him at all. He was there. Because of the things he had done. If I had watched him on the internet, I would quicken myself to go and meet a responsible person. I reached to someone I was not expecting, but that was important. As we knew each other, Proceedingly, mm -hmm. I found someone who had the love of God in him. And every time he spoke to me, I hadn't listened to the voice of God. I was yes. challenged with certain things that I didn't know how to get out of them. But every time I sat with him to talk, I heard him speak, but I knew God was communicating to me. Mm. So I found my deliverance while I walked with him. Sometimes we joke about it when we are challenged in marriage. If I have a problem with submission, I make a step to check it. 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 I make yeah. I got to a place in my life. Nga, I used to tie to him. As far as I was concerned, for me, he was a minister unto me. Yeah. He was a minister unto me. Yes. He was a minister unto me. He was a minister unto me. Wow. <laughs> but when we married, no gamba e chimu e chimu e chimu e chimu Wow, wow. So that, that's, that's a bit of, of how I came to um, so that's how I knew him. The other thing, as I said, I had already given my life to Jesus. Sometimes you walk, you fall. My getting back on course with God started with my encounter. My husband. Amen. 
You know, chintu chikuru nyo. Abantu abombe meetinga. Most people meet themselves. And when they start a relationship, they become weak. Do you hear that? You're the person you would have raised you know, to gain strength, you put them down. Now, we, we, some of us that have had access to social media, we saw that you had a lovely wedding. We thank God for that. Give a hand clap to that. Now, we're talking marriage now. Seeing you two people, when I sit here and listen to your story now I begin to connect and things. I can see God taking people on a journey and and how how far it goes. I, I want you to speak to people now this is your journey of uh, knowing each other as new marriage who are understanding how things progress in marriage challenges in marriage you spoke that you saw him as a priest and you realize that every time he spoke God would use him concerning yourself here at the beginning of marriage what are the things that when you're beginning marriage someone has to concentrate on your them? experience now Omanya Namanya 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 because the words that I speak without a story I do not have authority yes. what I have ever seen I can testify there is something we didn't talk about when I met with my wife we started dating for like six months. After six months, I had to travel to the US to see my client in Boston. But when I was traveling to the US, I had a purpose. I wanted to go to the city New York. Now as I was there, I said, you know what? I have a friend that I know who is there. But I was going to ask my friend whether he will be there. I had a voice in my head Texas. telling me Texas. Chibukacha America. But I didn't get it. I didn't know anyone in Texas. I quit it. Because the only man I knew there was Pastor Bishop T.D. Jakes. So I sent my friend a message. I told him in two weeks. I wanted to be in New York. I was asking if you can accommodate me. And he said, We would want. But the problem is, we have left New York. Wow. We are in Texas. Wow. I said, now I know. I'm going to Texas. So when we reached Boston, instead of going to New York, Texas, I went to Texas. The next day was Sunday. We went to T.D. Jakes' church. When I was there, I saw that the way my love with my wife, the way it was moving, it was not glorifying God. I knew we had, we had to do something because the foundation was not right. Right. Mm. So when that day Uganda, when I came back to Uganda, wange, I spoke to my wife. We have to do this. Mm -hmm. As we had separated, we continued talking almost daily. You had to go separate ways. Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. In the same time, 
I quit my job. I had a misunderstanding with my bosses. But my life was really expensive. I didn't know how to sustain it without a job. But I had another problem. My covenant with God. I do not chase yes. I woke up and I asked myself, Chitaka, how are you going to move your responsibility That's when you cannot chase? Right. But one day I was there, a thought came to me. Chitaka, you've put God and things at the same wing scale. Mm -hmm. And I said, wait. How about if I give all that I have and I come back? What fails me to wait on God? Mm -hmm. So in March 2020, now in March 2020, one month before the lockdown, I had entered an empty house. I even didn't have a mattress. Mm -hmm. I had said that, Lord, you are going to get me from the ground. Wow. Not to waste a lot of time. After one year on that land, the Lord gave me a job. Wow. It was more than the other one, three times. Two times. When I got that job, I said I'm not going to change my appearance anymore. The revelation was that you can have pressure things on the top. But the greatest glory is in Amen. the inside. That's right. That a man who knows God, who has the wisdom of God, has the greatest gift. Yes. A greatest gift more than any other car you've ever imagined. Now, what brings me to that story? The time we did our wedding at Serena Hotel. I was sleeping on a mattress, not on the bed. And my house was empty. You're going to say that again. The glorious well, wow. wedding we saw on social media. You were sleeping on a mat. Well, well, you were sleeping on a mat. Well, a mat. I was sleeping on a mat. After, yeah. So, what was the first So, you got from the mattress. And you put on that expensive suit. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. We slept at Serena, that's where we dressed wow. up and went and we did the wedding. Why did I bring that? That my wife managed to see Chitaka yes. over all those. Chitufu. Okay? So when we started our house, our home, we started it in an empty house. But remember, the job I had, it was more better than the other recent one two times. But we didn't have seats. But after the wedding, what God put on our hearts, it was to buy for our parents cars. So we took months after the wedding to solicit money for wow. the car of our wow. parents. Because the revelation was this. It was the sacrifice of our marriage. Wow. wow. The other word of God that joins in there. The Bible says, Honor your father and mother. That all may be well with you. Mm -hmm. And your days may be long in this world. Now, seeing me and host me today. It is not because of what we are, That's but because right. of what God has done in us and wow. through us. Wow. So, umuntu wa ino katunda. So, someone has to look keenly to God. Where is God when a relationship is starting? Katunda wow. 
Rukshana, what have you got to say about that? Rukshana, kino chogira kochi. Wali yaba fumbo muso nyu so kuri neko. Wait. Alu yaba fumbo nga nesa daka iyo fumbo tebaji wanga yu. There are married here who never given a sacrifice of their marriage. Gina mas. Go ahead. I'll take a step back. Nja kunda kima bega katono. Kubanga mwami chitaka you get about the time when we dated for about six months. Because mwami chitaka spoke about the time we dated. Kati from there, nukutandi kolu gendo. Kati okuva we started a journey. And for me, while I still, I genuinely wanted to get married. The one thing that, that, sorry, the one thing that, that I came to realize at that point in my life is that never now, even if I chase marriage, as long as my life with God is not right, it is pointless. So the scripture that kept me going then and that, and that informed everything I did thereafter was seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything else will be added unto you. And that is a scripture that whenever we meet even young people who, who are desirous of getting married the key message to them is this yes. marriage means nothing if you do not know God because marriage will come with so many hardships That's right. and so many blessings as well but what keeps you going Na is your walk with God. That is the most important thing. While I am here and I love Mwami Chitaka with all my heart, I know that a time is going to come when God is going to call me to And it's not going to be about my marriage. It's it's about my wangi. relationship with him. Yee. So for me, what I saw, God used this relationship to restore me back to him. That's right. But not just restore me back to him, mm. but, to, but okay. to be a living testimony mm. of the fact that with God nothing is impossible. That's right. But also with God, even when you get married, your marriage is not yours to just enjoy. Our marriage is for ministry. Where is that? When I knew that our marriage was special, is when I went to ask my father to get married. Mm -hmm. Of course, my dad is a Muslim. Okay. I told God that if I marry, if I must marry, I want my dad to give me over into marriage. I want my father's blessing. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it was really important for my father to bless me. Yes. And I sit here today to testify that difficult as it was for my father, I got my father's blessing. Wow. wow. Without pulling ropes, without, without bleeding and making tears, he also allowed. He walked me down the aisle and he wow. handed me over to my husband. Wow. And for me, that was testament to the fact that I have started my marriage with my parents' blessing, and there is nothing that is impossible. If I had any doubt in Timukama ya Chirimu, yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. 
It was a miracle my dad handing me over to my husband because I had siblings. It was not easy. But that proved to me that God he was in this relationship. Now, a lot of people that watch uh, your stuff, you have a podcast. On YouTube, on YouTube and, uh, I believe on other social media platforms. You talk about so many things. Uh, about marriage, relationships, your walk with God, the two of you. Uh, different things in the society. Uh, I think Mr. Chitaka will tell us these things that you write on a daily Please, I want you to share because we have a few minutes left. If you can't just talk about that. When we entered marriage, the first year, it was a difficult one. That's a year to assume enjoyment. That's what I expected. Something perturbed me. Seeing my wife could not honor me or submit to me. It really perturbed me. Because even when I explained to her, she didn't get it. Mm -hmm. But God directed me to such knowledge and I fell on someone who brought to me revelation that a husband and a wife they are totally two different species a man and a woman our thought pattern is different husband when men see fellow men they see them in honors in levels this one is above and this one is beneath but ladies they don't move that way they work in unity so when they come in marriage the honor one they draw gets unity and they get on draw. So the revelation was as we started to understand issues that were disturbing us to realize that marriage everybody hides it three people can be here and they are all dealing with the same issue but no one shall speak about it now people go back home and the husband thinks that it's a wife that has a problem the wife thinks likewise but before understanding that a wife no, and a husband, they are two That's different right. species. Now, the ministry God gave to us was to open our marriage to talk about the difficulties we've been through, the incense that other people they will look through us and they will have right, their deliverance. Right. So, now our all ministration is to talk the truth in the way we face challenges and the way we overcome them. Now all that they are rooted in God. Wow. And every morning I wake up and I write a story the woman's bait that is called, pardon me, the woman's bait. Uh, it's on Twitter and on Instagram. But we talk about everything we've been through. We talk about it in the open. But all that 
are not trying to fight wars and battles in the open. We are trying to paint a true picture. Because the Bible speaks in Hosea. My people perish for lack of knowledge. So to Kiriza, Mukumanyo Kujamu experiences a fe. Now we believe that with the knowledge that comes through our experiences. Zija kusumulula abantu mukusasa. It Amen. comes to deliver people. Wow, wow. Kati e, e, yo information na jagala. Now the one who loves that information. Aina gena ku social media zo. Has yes. to go on your social media. Nemo Google wate kamu Felix Chitaka. Platforms. Over Rukshana Chitaka. Mm-hmm. Bajamula gidida. On Google. I read some. 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 I I read some. I read I read some. 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 But, uh, I like what they bring to the body of Christ. He said, away from marriage. Often at times, we, we can go through things and we keep quiet over them and we shut over them. So, the idea is that we don't go to the public to expose ourselves. I, I, I don't think that any of their desires is to show the world that this is... This is uh, this is what we do. This we fought this morning. We had an argument this morning. Because if you listen to their stuff, it's actually funny. My my wife was uh, the one who actually introduced me to them. She would listen to them when I was thinking, who are these people that my wife is constantly listening to? So I encourage you to go. Did you have some of the material here? Yes. Oh, I think they brought a, a, a book or so. So can this be bought somewhere in Kampala? Yes. So there are. Yes. When you reach us on our social media handles, the stories we write every morning, we compile them in the book. Wow. When, you, when you get to us on our social media handles, we shall direct you on how to have uh, the information Amazing. and the materials. Amazing. And of course, those that are in church, I think they have a few copies here. How much does this cost? This book is worth 50,000 shillings. Every book is 50,000. Amazing. Our time is that. I'm happy to clap for our guests. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. If God can help a man and a woman and prepares them and does a great work in them and builds them up through his love to manifest the picture of the image of his love allow him to do it. This is the thing that interests me when I find ministers and different ministries. They, there are a lot of things that I cannot do that other people do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, anybody that hears them thinks it's only been two years. You haven't yet seen anything. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But like I told you, it does not, you don't need 10 years in marriage to know what marriage can be like. I've, I've been married for 8 years and I can tell you I do not know anything about marriage. I still have to look at them and I learn. And I remember and I then say, oh, okay, now, that now made sense to me. Hallelujah. Can we appreciate them once again? Thank you very much. You can go back and sit. We will conclude the service. Praise God. I said praise the Lord. Come on, clap to them with my hand clap. If you want this book, it's going to be here. You can buy it for yourself. I think that the white man that said it that if you want to hide wisdom, hide it in the book. 
do not allow a white man to presume <laughs> wisdom. If he's a fellow African man, they won't be out there at the and, table. Uh, as they leave, feel free to buy a copy. If you want a copy and you're perhaps watching on social media or online, uh, give us a call and we shall be able to guide you how you can get them. And they've also told you, search them up online on all social media handles, the Chitakas. Yeah? And you will be able to get them. Ataka mm. tutikaji. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Did you hear that testimony? The God that did it for them will do it for you in the name of Jesus. He married a lady who was 43 years of age. Can you imagine? She desired to marry when she was. She thought that by 25 she would marry you while she on TV and you she thought this would happen. And God brought the marriage when she was 43. And God gave her a very handsome man. Now she's a mother. I believe that. Now, when she was 43, she was a mother. She was a mother. If God gave it to her, it has no issue whatsoever time you've waited. The couples we are going to wait tomorrow. The people who are quitting. There are those who didn't have hope. There are those who just put their husbands by force to come and be wedded. But God does all that. Praise the Lord Jesus. It is all the doing of the Lord. The Bible we read has over 66 books. All of them are written by different people. With a different testimony. With a different idea about life. Everything is so unique. This is what I want to say to you this afternoon. Your story and my story are all unique. The only thing that we have that is similar about all our stories is they are all God's stories. Zona. All our stories. They are all God's stories. God is not something in you. We waited a girl here. Eighteen years. She came here. Now she married a man. She was eighteen years. She came here. Now she married a man. She was eighteen years. She came here. Now she married a man. She was eighteen years. She came here. Now she married a man. She was eighteen years. Boyfriend. Felix. Joseph, his father was a computer, they didn't have nothing. You could, it's even possible that probably Joseph could have been married earlier, but he was still maybe fulfilling tradition and all that. We can go into that. But the thing is this. God can grant you a marriage or everything you ever asked for in its right time. I'm going to repeat that. Because I don't know if you heard it. God can give you everything you ever asked or everything you want in its right time. Did you hear that? Now we've been in Agape Love Month. Those on social media, you complained and were patient. And they were complaining with the singles. They are only talking about married people, married people, married people. Let me tell you something. Even when you get to 70 years, if it is God's plan to give you a marriage, He will give you a mate. He will give you a mate. If you don't want the marriages, we can talk about other things. But everything you want is all that you pay. And you believe God. Everything you desire. Whatever it is, even if it takes heaven to stop functioning everywhere else and just come and function in your own place. But as long as God wants to do something for you, do something for you. He will do it for you. I said he will do it for you. Does somebody believe that? Raise up on your feet.
We are going to pray a prayer that says this. That the God who did for them when she had waited for 43 years and she got the other man and started to look for her and what they didn't explain to you. And they said, he spent 10 years looking at her to not get tired of looking over someone. If it's a business, watch that business steadily. Hallelujah. By the end of the time, you would have done it. Do you hear what I'm saying? Believe God in the right time. Ten years, watch you go over that lady. He wrote a message and he was not responding to it. He sought for someone to reach him to no one. But let there be anything to the rest is history. Gamba, I, yes. So with me that, oh Jesus. Today, I heard the testimony the testimony of Rukshana and Felix. You met them in a very special way. We heard what concerns them. And we begin to wonder how did God do it? If you did them something that they got married, do it for us too. Give us our mates. Make us happy too. Transform and change our lives. Give us wisdom as you did to them. To build marriages that are godly. To build marriages that will produce fruits that are going to benefit our generation. Do you know what I don't know what you're asking for. What are you praying for? If it is your marriage, you can tell God, Lord, this is what I pray for. Speak about it in about a minute or two. Talk about it. Tell God concerning my business, this is what I want. Concerning my marriage, this is what I want. Concerning my ministry, this is what I want. Concerning my future, this is what I want. You have given these two influence. You have given them fame. You have given them popularity. But they still come back and say it has been God. They still come back and bring all the glory to you. If people that have tested the goodness in this land can stand before a congregation and say, that it is all the doing of the Lord. Lord, I pray that you do it for us this afternoon. You will bless your people. You will comfort them. You will strengthen them. Heal every disease. Strengthen those that are weak. And encourage us to be godly people. But even when you raise us up and make us uh, and, uh, famous and, 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 and popular in our nation and in the parts of the world, we shall always return back to you and say it has been you. So we we'll return all the glory to you and we say it is all yours. In Jesus' mighty name. I say it in Jesus' name. Will you clap your hands to God and thank Him? Thank Him for how good He is. In Jesus' name. Okay, we are going to give in the house of the Lord. Can you get hold of your tithes and offerings and any seed that you've brought in, in God's house? Tomorrow is our mass wedding and people are still bringing uh, suits, dresses, shoes. Yes. So if you have it and even we need some money to help us facilitate what will happen here tomorrow. So if you have extra, 
And you want to bless the people. You can say, I'm going to buy a crate of soda. I'm going to pay for a plate of food. You will bring that here and put it on the pulpit. Hallelujah. Amen. For those that have their offerings, we can put in the basket. Get up to your feet. Let's give in the house of the Lord. Those that are watching online, our numbers are on the screen. Our merchant code for MTN is 316485. kadala. 316485 Satu emu And those are for Airtel it's 1101806 Hallelujah Hallelujah May God bless you May God keep you May God cause you to prosper. Go and flourish in the land of the living. And may you see the hand of God cause you to go places that you never expected to go. In Jesus' mighty name. You are invited to be part of the mass wedding tomorrow. But it is only for the service. For the reception, we shall only have the, the Bagole themselves. reception. And those that are going to be... Uh, those that want to become members of this church, Abo. who want to be members of this church, you go all the way up stairs in the uh, administrator's office and they'll give you the membership form. And for those that are married, married, you are aware that these, are our, these days are for our honey take me out days. So please feel free to take your partner and have a wonderful time. In Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. Can we say the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God uh -huh. and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit uh -huh. be with us all uh -huh. now and forevermore. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen.